you, you get scared, all right. Three of us were going up to the top of Vimy Ridge to see what was on the other side. Well, uh, the Germans are firing shells at the time, but they're all going way back overhead. We figured it was safe to go. Well, we hadn't gone far when one of those shells was coming right for us. I dropped to the ground, and I guess perhaps the other did. I don't know, but the middle fellow was killed. Jesus said, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for one's friends. So today, during this time of national remembrance, as proud Canadians, we thank God for those who gave their lives as the last full measure of devotion for Canada, the true North strong and free. Today, we thank God, our Father, Jesus Christ, His Son, and the Holy Spirit for all the Canadian men and women and for their service in World War I, World War II, the Korean War, various NATO and United Nations missions. Those remembered today include Army, Navy, Air Force, Merchant Marine veterans, and police officers who have represented Canada overseas during times of conflict and peace. As Christians, today we offer deep gratitude for freedom, the freedom to worship, freedom to pray and to offer witness, the freedom to love as Christ has loved us, and the freedom to practice our faith. So let us not take that freedom for granted. Today our hearts are full of gratitude because we are free. Today we are thankful and we remember.